So this, well, this could do many things. It'll tighten the base plate on my camera. It'll single-handedly piece together my entire camera rig and can even be suitable as a screwdriver if I don't have one nearby. But why am I telling you all this? The fact is, is that this is one of the most important pieces in my kit and I honestly wish I would have bought it sooner. Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Ryan and today I'm gonna show you a whole list of filmmaking gear that I truly love under $50. But not just any gear, this list is jam-packed with gear that I've used on every single film set, including documentaries, TV commercials, narrative films, and all of my client work. So let's get into it, friends. First off, I just wanna mention that none of the products that we're talking about in this video are a sponsor of this video. These are just products that I love and gear that I love to use and have been using for many years now. Well, now let's start with our first one and that is the multi-tool. Now we already talked about this, but let me get into it a little further. This one is made by Small Rig and it has every single tool that you might need to rig up your camera or anything else really. Now, like I mentioned before, this isn't the best multi-tool on the market right now. There are so many others that could do way more and some that do way less. However, I've had this one for years and it's worked out great for me. To be honest, it really doesn't matter what kind of multi-tool you get as long as it has everything that you need for film work, especially if you're a solo filmmaker and you're the only one working on your camera rigs, this really does come in handy. This is something I wish I would have had at the beginning of my career because at that time, I was using just anything I could to get a base plate on and off, ruining the base plate, the screws. I would use things like flathead screwdrivers and coins and even my keys sometimes, which I highly recommend not doing. I've definitely done that before and wasn't good times. Because I was constantly looking for something to tighten the base plate or to take something off of my rig, I was just wasting time. But just having something like this in my pocket has saved me a lot of time, therefore saving me some money. So definitely highly recommended if you haven't gotten one already. Okay, moving on. The next thing on our list is this diffusion panel. Now this one is made by Newer. There are plenty of diffusion panels out there for a really great price. This one just happens to be under $50 at the recording of this video. And I truly love it a lot. It's super big and it also has this frame around it so it's easy to pop out and put back into place so that it fits right back into this bag and the reason why I wish I would have gotten this sooner is because there are plenty of times where I was filming outdoors and I needed to control the sunlight if you've ever worked with clients or you're on a location shoot for a narrative film you know that time is definitely not your friend and it's really hard to get a time scheduled for the perfect time of day. This definitely is going to help you control that sunlight. I like the frame around it too. It makes it easier to pop in and out when you need it, as well as being able to hook some clamps onto it on a C-stand or something like that, making it easy and versatile. Now, this is something that I totally wish I would have bought a whole lot sooner. This makes for a much softer lighting. And if you've been watching the videos on the channel for some time, you know that we're always trying to light scenes to look like they're more realistic, more believable. And this is definitely one of those tools that will get you there. What's happening, everyone? Future Ryan here. So this is the night before before this video actually goes up. And since the time that I started writing this video and recording this video up until now, that diffusion panel has gone out of stock. <laughs> I've looked for it everywhere on b &H Photo and Amazon and even on the newer website and I couldn't find it anywhere. However, I did find the smaller version of this exact same diffusion panel. So I'll leave a link in the description below for that one. But there are quite a few others as well on Amazon that are the exact same size. I've never used these ones before, so I can't really recommend recommend them. However, you don't actually need to use a diffusion panel. I do like these because of the frame and how easy they are to use, but you also could use something like unbleached muslin, which is something I use for all of my film projects and it really works out great. I think I get this for about 10 to $12 a yard on Amazon. So super cheap and it's super effective. But anyway, I thought I should mention that. I'll leave links to everything down below. Now let's get back into the video. The next thing on our list are these duck clamps. These are essentially heavy duty clamps that I like to use on film sets. They hold a lot of weight, can press down pretty tight on whatever it is that you're trying to hang up. Now, the reason why I wish I would have had a set of these in the past is because back when I first started dabbling into negative fill and diffusion, I would just use gaffer tape to kind of tape up the diffusion or the fabric or whatever I needed onto the ceiling or onto C-stands or whatever I could. Now that is absolutely a great
great way to go. And if gaffer tape is all you have, then definitely go with that. However, it does come with a few headaches. If the gaff tape sticks together, it's super hard to get off. And when it's hot, it'll leave some residue on walls and your C stands and things like that. Now, these are really great because they're really quick and easy to use and are gonna be super handy. You can just grab one, use it to set up your fabric, maybe on a C stand or a wall or anything like that, and you're good to go. Now, I think you can get four of these for about $15 or you can get eight of them for about $18 on Amazon right now as of the recording of this video. The next item on our list are these bungee cords. For me, these just have more versatility and I use them for for everything. As a matter of fact, I don't just use them for filmmaking gear. I also use them to tie up cables around the office or even when I'm traveling, I will tie up all of the cables I'm taking with me in one of these. Super great, super versatile. They are red, so they stand out a little bit, but that doesn't bother me too much when I'm using it on my camera rig. I will use it to tie up all the cables, all the loose cables that are on my rig. And then I just kind of tuck it in just like this to just keep it out of the way. And that just works great for me. Honestly, I didn't think that I would ever need something like this, but as soon as I started using them, it totally made life so much easier. Imagine opening up your cable bag and all the cables are all over the place, tied up together. It's just a huge mess, but these are just gonna clean it right up. And also for your rig, because it's so versatile, it's gonna wrap around anything around your rig and just keep all of your cables nice and tidy and clean. And it seriously took me way too long to get some of these, so highly recommended. I think you could get quite a few of these for a really decent price. Definitely pick some of these up if you can. Next, we have this tube light. Now, every filmmaker, doesn't matter if you're a solo filmmaker or not, every filmmaker should have a small light in their kit. And it doesn't even have to be this one. This is the Ambit Full A2, which you probably heard me talk about many times here on the channel. It could be the Aperture MC or any of the other mini Aperture lights. I like this one because it could do everything that the Aperture MC can, but at a lower price. This light is super bright right now. It's at 10%, but if I were to bring it all the way up to 100%, I mean, that's pretty bright. <laughs> this light is bicolor. It also is an RGB light and it has its own effects built into the light as well. And it can also magnetize to metallic surfaces just like the Aperture MC. Oh, also it has a quarter 20 on both sides, the bottom side and the top side, just making this super versatile for just about anything. I've used this light in a lot of my professional work, but also here on the channel as well, like in this scene here, where I was using this as my key light that was motivated by the floor lamp that I have right now next to me. Why do I wish I bought one of these sooner? Well, the truth is back when I first started in my filmmaking journey, these kinds of lights weren't as accessible as they are today and especially at the price point they are today. Right now, as of the recording of this video, this light is under $50, so definitely a great deal right now. There are so many other gear items that I use all the time that are well under $50. There's a whole mass array of filmmaking equipment out there for under $50. The technology is just getting better and it's becoming more accessible to filmmakers today. These are just some of my favorite items that I actually use on a regular basis for the last couple of years and have truly changed the game for me. I highly recommend some of these items. And like I mentioned before, you don't have to get any of the stuff on this list today. However, if you are interested in picking up one or two of these items, I'll leave links in the description below so you can check those out. Well, that's gonna do it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this quick video. If you like this video or you found it helpful, please click the like button down below. Consider subscribing. If you haven't already, then I'll catch you the next one. Cheers, friends.